Welcome back, Odooers. You keep seeing me. It's still Jose Ignacio here. Now with Odoo, we can easily create and configure templates to use for all of our future events. We can even add thoughtful reminders and unique questions to these templates, which, as you guessed it, saves a ton of time. Now templates, they're efficient, they're flexible, and they're incredibly easy to update, all thanks to Odoo. Now using templates in Odoo events provides a reliable consistency, and it enables us to make any necessary changes or adjustments to the event forms on the fly. Now, enough chit chat as I always say. Let's take a closer look at these event templates in Odoo, shall we? All right, Odooer, so here we are back on the events dashboard. Now let's check out the events templates page, which is actually under here over by configuration, events templates. Now you'll see a list of the events templates. Some are already there. Now let's take a look at an existing one that we have been working with. In our case, we've been doing stuff with conferences, so let's open up conference. And as you can see, it's fairly similar to the standard event form. You end up with a lot of options and tabs that you can choose and configure to fit your company's needs. Then once you've completed your configurations, you'll be able to quickly populate any future event form by selecting this or any other event template. That way you don't have to waste time performing duplicate data entry whenever you want to host an event. Create your settings once and use them whenever you'd like with one single click. It doesn't get much easier than that. So let's make some changes to this conference template and see this whole flow in action. Now, the very first thing that I want to do is change our time zone. I am not in Europe right now. We're in US Pacific and we're all set up. And you'll notice where I just accidentally clicked, we can actually add tags and we can create new ones on the fly. And in fact, Let's do that. So we're going to type in special conference. And we're going to select create and edit. Now you'll notice when you do that, it's going to ask you a few things, mainly category. In our case, we're going to put this for an upcoming event. Color index, select purple. All right, save and close. Now we're all set. Now these tags can also show up on my website if the event tag category has show on my website toggled on. And as you'll also notice over here, speaking of people, I can actually limit stuff such as registrations. And I can also, you know, have auto confirmation. Now, when you hit limit registrations, you'll notice something else pops up. In our case, we can only seat 100. So that's what we'll limit it to. Now, I can also set my ticket name and price as well down here in the very first tab. Now, in our case, we're going to actually add a line. We're going to leave this one the same. The registration, an event registration. We don't need a description and our price. Very exclusive. I like the number 100. So we'll do that. And we're all set right there. Now, moving on, you'll see this communications tab over here. Now, here I can configure automated communications and reminders to be sent to the attendees. In our case, if I, for instance, say add a line, it gives me the option to select a different type of thing. We're going to keep the theme of mail being sent. So in our case, we're going to select also a reminder. And ours, we want it to be a little bit further out. We're going to use an interval of one. And for our actual unit, we're going to use a week. Because I notice we don't have anything for that. In our case, we want it before the event because we like to remind them before it happens. Now, everything looks good there. Let's move on. Uh, we're actually going to check out the questions tab because there's a very cool thing there. Now here, I can create questions that my website will ask the customer when they order their events tickets. In our case, if, for instance, say we hit add a line, we can choose a question. What are you most excited about? Sorry about that, Odoers had to find my grounding. Now in our case, we don't want to keep asking them this, so we're going to select the ask once per order. And we're not going to select mandatory answer because we don't want to bother them if they don't want to. Now, in our case, we want them to make a selection. We don't want them to just fill it in with anything. Um, let's see. The people. The food. Nope. Went a little bit too fast there, Odoers. My apologies. Now, in our case, the presentations like to give them these types of options in threes. All right, this looks all good, so I'm going to hit save and close. You'll notice it immediately populates right there. All right, everything looks great. Now let's see what it looks like to use a template quickly. So 
or actually, as you notice, it auto save, but we can actually save manually if we wanted to up here, and we can also still discard our changes. Normally, these are found a little bit closer over here, but right now they're up there. In our case, I'm going to save manually. It's because I like to make sure everything is there. All right, now once that that's done, we're going to head back over to our events page. Now here, we want to create one. And in our case, what are we going to do for this one? We're going to do conference. Four, you kind of guessed it. We're going to go with the same theme. We're going to go with art. I didn't want to do architects because that would have been the exact thing copied here. Now, once that I'm done, you'll notice there it is. The template. And we could use conference. And everything is there. Now, as you can see, we have it there for the tickets. We have our communication. And... Our questions are there. Everything is now populated with our previously configured template, complete with settings, ticket prices, questions, and more. How cool is that? Honestly, I love seeing stuff like this. Automation is the best. Now, with automation, though, it should be noted that changes made on a template applied to an event are not applied to existing event. Also, changes can be made in the events form after a template is set without any issues whatsoever. And lastly, if you're looking for even more detailed options when it comes to setting up events, let's head back to our settings page to check out a few more features that you can actually utilize. So we're gonna go back over here to configuration. We're gonna select settings. And once that, that loads, you'll notice over here on the side, we actually have something and an option that's called schedule and tracks. Like I already have done here, the additional options of live broadcast and event gamification appear. You can also choose to add community chat rooms, online exhibitors, and a few other things. And you can even enable booth management. Now that feature allows you to create booths and manage the reservation better than ever before with Odoo events. So check out our other tutorials for more information on these features. So we're finally done. And now that you're familiar with the event templates, stay tuned for our next lesson. That's all for now, Odooers. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.